Quinoa is misunderstood. Not only do people pronounce it wrong, they don't know what it is. Quinoa isn't a grain. It's a pseudo cereal. That means it acts like a grain, but it's actually a seed. Surprisingly, quinoa is more closely related to spinach than wheat. Welcome to Superfoods. Today, we're going to teach you how and why you should amp up your carb intake with protein-rich quinoa. Quinoa is indigenous to Central and South America. To this day, Peru and Bolivia produce 88% of the world's quinoa. The Inca called quinoa chisawaya mama, or mother grain. Not only was it a vital source of nutrients for the Inca, it was used in religious ceremony. When the Spanish came to the New World, they believed that the simple grain was a false idol and burned quinoa fields far and wide. Luckily for us, they couldn't wipe it out entirely. Quinoa has been so important throughout history that the United Nations declared 2013 the International Year of Quinoa. It isn't just historical significance that makes quinoa a superfood. The tiny seeds are jam-packed with nutrients. In fact, quinoa is so nutrient-rich that it's one of the foods NASA sent into space with its astronauts. Quinoa can make a good, healthy substitute for white rice and other starches. And while quinoa is higher in calories than white rice, it's also higher in protein, fiber, and manganese. Quinoa is probably the most outstanding for its protein content. At least 15% of each seed is pure protein. One cup is over eight grams. That's more than an egg, a glass of milk, or a serving of beef jerky. More importantly, quinoa is one of the few foods so rich in amino acids, vital chemical compounds that help the body convert food into energy, build muscle, and for fat. Because quinoa has all nine amino acids that we need, it qualifies as a complete protein food. Quinoa is also high in fiber. You'll get nearly a quarter of the daily fiber you need in a single serving. That one-two punch of lean protein and fiber really helps with weight loss and maintenance by keeping your digestive system healthy. Plus, the fiber found in quinoa helps lower cholesterol, reduce risk of cardiac events, and regulate glucose. A study by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people who ate 100% of their daily requirement of fiber each day were 12% less likely to die of coronary heart disease than those who didn't get enough. They were also 11% less likely to show symptoms of cardiovascular disease. If lower cholesterol, better heart health, and less risk of diabetes aren't enough to motivate you to eat quinoa, how about headache prevention? Quinoa is a high manganese food. A cup contains around 60% of manganese you need in a day, and that is way cheaper than a migraine prescription or even a bottle of aspirin. Let's look at quinoa next to one of the more common grains in the world's culinary repertoire white rice. Sure, rice provides 20% of the total calories the entire world consumes, but it isn't a complete protein food the way quinoa is. It only has half the amino acids, less total protein, way less fiber, and almost half the manganese. There's nothing wrong with white rice from time to time, but why not switch it up and eat quinoa instead? Your body will thank you. There are well over 120 types of quinoa. You're most likely going to find red and white quinoa in stores, and they're all pretty comparable health-wise. The only time color matters is if you want really distinct grains like a quinoa salad. The outer coating on red quinoa is harder than on the white seeds, so red quinoa stays separate while white quinoa clumps together. Rinse your quinoa. Whether it's organic or not, your quinoa needs a rinse. Why? It's coated in saponins a bitter coating that protects quinoa seeds from damage in nature and lasts forever on your tongue. Always drain quinoa. It holds onto a lot of water right after the cake. Draining it in a fine mesh strainer or a colander lined with a paper towel will keep your finished dish from being watery. Quinoa may look a little like couscous, but it cooks just like rice. When cooking quinoa, use one and a half parts water to one part quinoa. You can even use your rice cooker if you have one. Quinoa is a great gluten-free alternative to wheat products. You can find quinoa cereal and even quinoa flour out there. 